Today's mission, guys, is going to be picking up a 24-year-old um, patient that's in Kulion. So we're going to go Batangas, Kulion, and drop off in Puerto Princesa, Palawan. Tag along for the mission as we get the aircraft ready. Yeah, man. All right, so this is the Miracle Pump worth about 300 US dollars and has an amazing story. It's actually a missionary in India that had a project going, couldn't reach his goal, and he opted to donate a portion of that funds to buy this. So back in the days, we used to, <laughs> we used to have to siphon this with a hose fill this up and then from this we go up to the thing and refueling could take up to an hour sometime no minutes we're done
All right, we're done, Mikey. <laughs> you feel the touchdown? <laughs> oh, that was a very smooth landing. That was smooth. I was in a 737. <laughs> All right, we're here. Let's. Yeah. All right, so we're here in Kuliun now. Um, this mission is very special because um, this young lady has been waiting now for about four or five days, and it's primarily weather. And then when the weather cleared, she did not have any room available for her to be admitted um, on the island where we're gonna take her. Uh, we still have weather contending with, but there's ways around it. So we're happy you guys have made it with us so far. And let's see what the rest of the journey has in store. Yeah, man. Good morning, Po. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So you can just step here, one foot here, and then watch your head. Okay. Let me help Auntie get in on the other side. Thank you sure, for sure. seeing me from Coron. Okay. Uh, she had a massive pleural effusion and malignant status po. She keeps it on left. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much, ma'am. God bless po. Yes. Alrighty. So the time now is 8.30. So you can tell them be there by say 9.45, yeah, before 10. Have them be at the airport before 10 a.m. Yeah. Thank you, Pop. Thank you, Pop. Welcome, Pop.
block 5256 November, turn left, east taxiway. Left, east taxiway for JCA, uh, Rob, 56 November. <laughs> so the wind shifted on me last minute, yeah. and I had to really... Uh, huh? You're battling with the wind, no? Yeah, because yeah, it's a crosswind, man. And I don't like when it's from my left, because I'm right-handed, so it feels so awkward. 5-6 November, runway vacated at this time. Good day. Yeah. So, one of the challenges I experience all the time is I do my part to get the patient here. We outrun the weather, we get here, and then we're stuck. Just sitting, waiting. Why? The ambulance guys, it's like they don't respect or pay attention to ETA and she's on oxygen so even though I'd like to go home, I can't because she's feeding off the oxygen that I brought for the flight. So even when you land safely and everything, still no guarantee the ambulance will come on time and I've had to sit here for like 3-4 hours before with a patient inside the airplane, no ambulance. They told me, welcome to the province, that's the life. So basically, um, the ambulance services that helps these people can be very, very challenging. Sometimes two, four, two, three, four hours, they're just sitting in the airplane and they're taking forever to coordinate a pickup. And so fortunately today, uh, the other missionary pilot, Cap Sean, came through on a previous medevac. My oxygen ran out, so he was able to switch tanks with me. And then he happens to be in the area with his family. They have a private vehicle and he's the one transporting to the hospital. So we're, it's just one of those things that break our heart where we do our best with the airplane. But then the local government and the hospital with their transportation is not always punctual and of help to these people. So uh, it's just it's one of those things that breaks our heart all the time. As some of you may know, March 1, our missionary pilot brother um, went missing, never showed up since. And so coming back home to base, I never take it for granted. Even before that, once I go out, do a mission and I get back, never take coming home for granted. Uh, today's mission took me five and a half hours to get it complete. The patient is now at the hospital in spite of the challenges for days and days, finally she's at a place where she can get the medical attention that she needs. So on behalf of Philippine Adventist Medical Aviation Services, Robin Bennett, Missionary Pilot here in the Philippines, and Flying by Faith, just want to say thank you so much for partnering with us financially, for your encouragement, for your prayers, for your support that continues to make these missions possible. Where are we going to go next? I don't know, but I'm sure we're going to be flying to help save lives and deliver hope. Buhay from the Philippines and Wapta. See you guys. <laughs>